If you're going to create a file within the My Courses area where you would need some high resolution images that your students are going to be able to see, you want to follow this tutorial so that when a student clicks on a text link, it will view, they will be able to view this larger image. Now they're going to view this larger image in something called an overlay. Now this overlay means that it's part of the web page so it's not po blocked by pop-up blockers. The other advantage of this is that you can have very high resolution images and have the student be able to see them without taking up a tremendous amount of space and students scrolling up and down inside of the, uh, inside of the, the file. Now it's very important you follow all the steps in this tutorial and follow them carefully. You should also note that this tutorial assumes that you feel comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact mycoursesforfaculty.edu and we will help. Now there's a couple things you need to do before you have um, you start doing this uh, whole thing and that's one is to make sure that you have your images uploaded into the manage file area and it's best practice to make sure to create folders where those images are found. There's also uh, some HTML code you're going to need but we'll get to that in, in a few minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our file and then within the HTML, uh, within the file text area, you're going to go ahead and click on the HTML source editor. It's going to bring up the source editor. You're then going to highlight the code that starts with iframe and ends with iframe, and you're going to copy that to your clipboard. Now within the HTML editor, the source editor, you're going to paste that code into that. And it can be placed anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to go ahead and click Save. Now you're going to go ahead and type in the text you want, whatever text you want. You're going to highlight that text. So you're going to select that text and highlight it. You're going to now click on the Quick Link icon. And you're going to click on Course Files. And again, it's assumed that you've already uploaded your images. So you're going to click on Quiz Pictures going to go to wherever you have them on there. Again, if you've organized them well, you should know where they are. I'm going to go click on the, the name of that image. Now what I want to do is to copy the target equals overlay onto my clipboard. And within the text area, I'm going to click on the HTML editor, source editor again. And I'm going to try to find where it says target equals underscore self. And I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that target equal overlay and I'm going to click save then I'm going to go ahead and finish out the rest of my file I can add more images if I want in the overlay and I'm going to go ahead and click the publish button so now what happens is when a student clicks on that link they will see the larger image that will pop up in an overlay they'll close it and then they can click on it again and see it and this allows you to have a very high resolution image that the students can see without taking up a lot of space on the uh, file or without having to take up uh, have it to download a long time if you had a lot of high resolution images.